Hi there, and welcome to this day in history for November 16th. November 16th is the 320th day of the year in the Gregorian calendar, 321st in leap years, with 45 days remaining to the end of the year. Today's word is sprig. Sprig is a noun that means a small branch or division of a branch, especially a terminal division. Can also refer to an ornament that resembles a spray of leaves or flowers. I'd like to take a moment to mention that links to my research are included in the show notes. I ask you to go ahead and click that like button. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. And feel free to share this video with others. There's a link to my This Day in History playlist in the show notes. I'll also put a link up in the corner there. And see what else okay well I guess we're ready to proceed we're going to start with the birthday of the Roman Emperor Tiberius who was born on November 16th in the year 42 BC that was a very long time ago he succeeded his stepfather Augustus to become the second Roman Emperor and ruled from 14 AD to 37 AD when he died at the age of 78 on November 16th 1272, Prince Edward became King of England upon the death of Henry III. Thing is, Edward was traveling around with the Ninth Crusade at the time, and it would be a couple years before he could get home and start being king. And goodness, didn't we just mention the Inca Emperor Atahualpa? At, 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 those Incan names. <laughs> the Inca Emperor Atahualpa yesterday when the Spanish conquistadors met him for the first time. Well, on September 16, 1532, Atahualpa was captured at the Battle of Cajamarca. Heck of a note, meet him one day and capture him the next. British and Hessian units captured Fort Washington from the Patriots on November 16, 1776. Frederick William became the King of Prussia as Frederick William III on November 16, 1797. Missouri trader William Becknell arrived in Santa Fe, New Mexico on November 16, 1822 arriving over a route that came to be known as the Santa Fe Trail. Now, we mentioned last year that on November 16, 1849, a Russian court sentenced writer Fyodor Dostoevsky to death for anti-government activities linked to a radical intellectual group, but his sentence was later commuted to hard labor. I guess they don't know how hard writing can be. <laughs> the National Rifle Association received its charter from New York State on November 16, 1871. Oklahoma Territory combined with Indian Territory to form Oklahoma, which was admitted as the 46th U.S. state on November 16, 1907. That's interesting to me because I consider myself to be from Oklahoma. One of my grandmothers will have been five years old at the time. The other one wouldn't be born for at least another decade. 1907. Happy birthday, Oklahoma. <laughs> the Federal Reserve Bank of the United States officially opened on November 16, 1914. Australia's National Airline was founded on November 16, 1920. It was originally known as Queensland and Northern Territory Aerial Services Limited and was later renamed Qantas. The United States and Soviet Union established formal diplomatic relations on November 16, 1933. Ergotamine is an alkaloid produced by a fungus that has Ergotamine has vasoconstrictive qualities. I started to go on and say by a fungus that has vasoconstrictive qualities, but that might suggest that the fungus itself does, but no, it's the ergotamine that has vasoconstrictive qualities, and it's occasionally prescribed for migraines and cluster headaches. 
On November 16, 1938, Albert Hoffman synthesized LSD for the first time from ergotamine. And that could have something to do with why ergotamine is so tightly reined uh, prescription-wise, because it can be used to make LSD. NASA launched Skylab 4 with a crew of three astronauts from Cape Canaveral, Florida on November 16, 1973. They would be on an 84-day mission. And that's all I have for you today. I hope you learned something you didn't know before. I know I sure did. I always do. <laughs> Let's see if there's anything else. Of course, links to my research are included below along with my This Day in History playlist. And again, I'll be sure and have a, a, a iCard up in the corner for you there. I guess that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Come back tomorrow. We'll do it again. I'll see you then.